So we're solving exponential equations using common logs. When you go from exponential functions, you're going to have to take common logs from both sides to be able to find x. You're probably looking at me like, huh? But yeah, it'll be okay. So if you take the log of both sides, you don't modify that equation. But the good thing is, at this point, the x, you can apply the power property. So the x will go in the front multiplying. And then for you to isolate x, you divide both sides by log of 6. Now you can put this in the calculator the way you see it. And then let's keep three decimals place. What the? So next one, we're going to follow the same idea. So log base 2, and then you got 3x minus 3 for the exponent, log of 9. Now, a Applying the power property again, the exponent is going to go in the front multiplying everybody. So I'm just going to keep the parentheses there just to keep me organized. Divide both sides by log of 2. log of 9 by log of 2, keeping three decimals. Plus 3 to both sides. Divide by 3. Two point five seven. Zero point five seven. Same idea. Our property goes to the front multiplying everybody. Divide both sides by log of 2. Keeping three decimals, nine zero seven, divide by two. One point nine five three. I have two more. Be careful with this one. Before I put the I take the log of both sides, I need to get rid of this three. So minus three from both sides. And then at this point I can take the log of both sides. Power property. Divide both sides by log of 9. Keep 
skip in three decimals, divide by two. Point one five eight. Last one. So I can take the log from both sides. Bring the exponent right there to the front to multiply. That's the power property. Divide both sides by log of 7. So log of 9 over log of 7. When I got to this IXL, IXL says simplify it, don't round your answer. So you have to leave that in terms of log. I remember that why we're doing this example right here. So you do not put this in the calculator. You're doing minus 1. So let me finish the rewriting this to make it clean. So you minus 1 from both sides. Bring the 4x down. You're going to leave that in terms of log. Minus 1 right there. And then when you divide both sides by 4, you're dividing the whole thing right there by 4. These two simplify. So your x is so when you divide this you can just keep this four in the denominator right there with the log so log of nine over four log of seven and then you're dividing the negative one by four and you will also leave that as a fraction so this i got when i was at 85 ish i remember so it's not asking you to round your answer, so you have to leave that in terms of logs. That's why I did the last example for you. Now I'm doing IXL, you were doing IXL, S5. That's it.